games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team up. Hey there, guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to another player review. Today we are reviewing the team of the season, Erling Haaland, and I'm very excited to do this card. I asked on the stream, there are a choice of three cards, and Haaland did win that little vote. And uh, he is a very expensive card. He has cost me just short of 1.1 million coins. That was actually technically a snipe as well, because at the moment anything lower than 1.1 is going pretty much like that on the PlayStation. So I have picked him up. I plan on doing this review and then selling him on, unless I absolutely love him. But this isn't my account, this is Jack's account. So again, a massive thank you to Jack. High medium work rate, six foot four, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. Obviously the three star skill moves, a little bit of a stinker, but I just have to remember that he's got that four star weak foot and I have to remember he cannot do four star skill moves and I'm hoping he is going to be insane. Having a little look at his in-game stats, I put an engine on him which does exactly what you want to do to pace, ups it to that 99. On the dribbling, it gives him 90 plus agility and balance and then maximum reactions, ball control, dribbling and composure. So I thought that was perfect for that. And obviously a nice little boost to the passing, which uh, it gives it like 92, I think overall passing, something like that. Do not put me on it exactly, but it's something around that mark. I just think an engine at the moment for a lot of cards is perfectly suited. His shooting is already disgusting, having four stats on maximum already. So I'm really anticipating this card being absolutely phenomenal. We are putting him into this team. So this is Jack's team, but I've had to go and buy Brunt and, and uh, a Hazard just to get a little bit of chemistry up to Haaland. Um, in game, we're gonna play 4-2-3-1 with um, Haaland being a lone striker. The three cans behind him aren't amazing. I probably will end up taking off Hazard at least but either Willian or Ozil, just to give myself a fighting chance to actually get the ball up to Haaland because he's got three kind of stinky cams behind him. But we're going to go into Div Rivals and hopefully Haaland can run the show. Let's get into the review. Okay, game number one and we come up against a very odd team. I'm kind of assuming this guy is probably going to quit actually, looking at that. We'll have to wait and see. Very strange. Okay, we've got the ball here with Henderson. Haaland, mate, I need you to make me a run. He has done just that. Let's try and play it to his... Feet, not quite. We get it to him eventually. On his left foot, he pulls it onto that stronger foot and he does find the back of the net. A bit of a stinky way to get the first goal, but the main thing is, Haaland, after a very short period of time, has already scored himself his first goal. Simple stuff. You kind of expect a normal, well, any real striker of their sort to finish that, and he has. 1-0. Okay, we've got the ball here with Ozil. We've asked Haaland to make a run, and he has done just that, and he has absolutely broken away. Oh, he doesn't take the chip when I asked him to do it. He did kind of get wiped out with a keeper, I will not lie to you, but that's really weird. I, he kind of didn't do what I asked him to do and he definitely would have scored. Odd. Willian, with a bit of time here on the wing, we're going to cut it inside to Haaland and see what he can do down the middle on his own. Pull it onto his left foot. We're going to finesse it. What a fantastic strike that is. Edge of the box. He didn't close me down at all to start off with. He realised far too late and Haaland has done exactly what you need of him. Edge of the box. His long shots are the only low shot on his... Um, his long shots are the only low stat on his card in the, the shooting stat anyway. And he's absolutely banged that. Great finesse, great finish. Come on, Haaland. Two goals in, what, like 20 minutes? And that's probably going to be a rage quit as well. Yep, it is. Things you'd love to see. Into the second game, and we are up against another really odd team. Like, this is an account on Div 5. It's, it's not like we're in like a really, really low tier. I don't really... Are people doing objectives? Is that what it is? I'm baffled. Haaland now on the ball. Having to go a little bit wide, he doesn't have too many options with him, but he's he keeps the ball really well. He's, he's really, honestly, I feel confident with him on the ball. I really like him in possession. And that is a good bit of play. The shot a little bit high. That's the first shot I've had with Haaland that hasn't gone in. So uh, we'll cut him a little bit of slack, I reckon. Now we've got a bit of a chance to break here. We've got William on the ball. We are going to play into Haaland. We're just going to take our time, play it calmly down to Ozil. Ozil plays it back on that right foot, on the weaker foot. The weaker foot didn't feel too good there for Haaland. I will be brutally honest. Willian into Haaland. Haaland's going to play it back to Willian. He's going to go back to Haaland. He's going to pull it onto that left. Take the finesse at the edge of the box. Maybe I should have taken it a bit nearer. Uh, wasn't the best effort, but we do just about keep the ball alive here. Can we maybe recycle another chance? We'll see if we can. Haaland is going to flick it up. Oh, I'm going to lose it. No, I'm not. Haaland. Oh, nearly, Tom. Wasted chance. Can we maybe finish this half? with a chance here. We get it to Pulisic. He's going to play it into Haaland. Haaland, simple turn. Plays it out to Ozil. Ozil's going to play it back to him. Haaland onto his left foot. Oh, again, I think I'm trying too hard to get the shots there. Realistically, I probably should have played it back to Ozil, but 
this game this game's been hard. This guy's got a fantastic defense. Yeah, he had a bit of a weird team, but it was mainly the attack that were like the weird off players that you wouldn't expect to see at all. But I would say that Haaland has he's played okay when he's got into the game. It's been difficult to get him too many chances, and sadly the chances he's had in this game, he hasn't finished. Whereas in the last game, obviously, he was banging them away. So uh, hopefully the second half, we can see a bit more of what we saw in the first game. Well, we go 1-0 down. Uh, pretty stinky, pretty annoyed, but never mind. Lovely play, we get it to Pulisic. Hallen now on the ball, good turn, takes Ramos out of the situation. I'm gonna try and keep it alive, we do. Get it into Haaland. Haaland on that right foot. Oh, again, not the best shot in the end. Trent, gonna keep it. Gets it up to Henderson. That's definitely Ozil, Tom. Haaland plays it to Henderson instead. We're gonna play over the top. Haaland on the volley. That's better. That's on his weaker foot. And it is a goal. He's done really, really well, though. That's the best shot on his right foot we've seen so far. One of the things I would say so far about Haaland is that his weak foot doesn't play like it's four-star, but that's the first time we've seen any example of his weak foot actually being half-decent. So a nice goal in the end in what's been a really stinky game for me, honestly. Well, that's the end of that game. I have to say a deserved loss. I think the other guy did deserve the win. Definitely outplayed me. Um, defensively, I really struggled to break him down. I don't feel like Haaland's physicality, like his strength, feels as strong as it says it is. Like he doesn't feel, I think he's got like 99 strength. Like I might be making that up, but it doesn't feel like he does. Yes, he scored a goal. Yes, it was on his weak foot. Um, he did have a couple of chances that maybe he could have done a tad better with. Did I push the left foot a bit much, right foot a bit much? Maybe. Okay, because the first game was cut a little bit short, we are going to sneak in a third game. And this is more like the kind of team I expect to see in this kind of division. A very, very good team, very good BPL team, with some very, very good players. Get the ball into Ozil now. Ozil, nice turn. Gets it to Haaland. Not quite where I wanted it. I, I wanted it to Trent, but we do get the ball back from Haaland to Trent and back again. But we do miss out there. Willian's done really well to keep that alive though. Trent into Ozil. Willian, Haaland on his left foot. Fantastic uh, block there from the defender. Pulisic does really, really well to keep it. Plays it into Haaland. Haaland though, gets it onto his left. We're gonna play it across, back to Haaland. Haaland that left foot, it's a great save. We do get the rebound and we do go 1-0 up. I think that was Ozil maybe. Um, really, really nice little interplay. The save was really, really good. I honestly thought that Haaland was gonna smash that one into the far post, but it was a good save. End of the day, we got the goal. I won't be too upset. Sadly, it's a rebound because I don't like I don't like conceding them. So, I'm not the biggest fan of scoring them, especially when it's just you know it's casual gameplay. But either way, we go one 0 up. Oh, they played it through really nicely. Great save from Henderson, but another rebound. So you know what? We'll uh, we'll call this the rebound game. One one. <laughs> well, we go two one down, just like that. Like I don't even really know what happened there, but we conceded twice. So be it. Ozil, Allen is going to make us a run. It's a good run as well. He's got the pace to get in behind the defender. We chip it and it does find the back of the net. Really, really nice play there. The pace was really, really important because it gave him enough pace to get past the centre back from the through ball from Ozil. So really nice from Haaland. Gets himself, is that his fourth goal in the episode? So that's not too bad. And uh, it's a nice little chip. I missed a lot of chips, so I'm happy that one went in. Well done, Haaland. Get the ball here. Trent is going to play it down to Ozil. We're going to play it into Haaland, who was just offside, which is unlucky because what a strike that was. What a fantastic goal that would have been, but sadly, he was offside. To the ball with Pulisic now. We're going to play into Ozil. Ozil now, got the time, got the place, oh, the pace, the, yeah, the pace, not the place. And Haaland does find another goal. There we go, that gives him five in three games. Very, very happy with that. Apologies for the poor commentary. Didn't know what the hell I was saying, but we do manage to get the goal. I'm not sure about the celebration, mate, but... Very, very nice play. And again, Haaland's pace does feel really, really good. His pace feels much more consistent in his physicality. Um, and you know what? He's a, he's a good finisher. He's done that well. Well, that game we well and truly fell apart. He kept it in us on the counter and scoring with them, to be fair. So credit to him for being nice and clinical. But Haaland just felt a tab missing in that game. And I'm not entirely sure why. Well, that was our review of the team of the season, Haaland. Obviously, five goals in three games, which is good. I can't be upset about that. I can't say that that is bad at all because it's not bad. I don't know if it was because I played him maybe in the wrong way. Maybe I had the wrong instructions on him. Maybe it's because it's half past eight in the morning. I don't know. But regardless, I just felt like there was maybe something missing there. It just didn't quite feel right. And it felt like he just didn't play to the potential maybe that I expected of him. I'm not too sure. I did enjoy using his card. His left foot is fantastic. Finesse shots are okay for him, but just regular shooting just feels incredible. The way that his 
the power he gets behind the ball is fantastic. And I would say, honestly, I did enjoy using this card. I felt like with better players around him, maybe it would have gone a bit better, but um, I don't know. Something didn't quite click for me. I do think he's a good card, just maybe not the card for me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this pro review. Of course, if you did, then please do leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated and massively supports the channel. Of course, if you're new to the channel as well, please do consider subscribing on our way to 5,000 subs. It would be amazing if we could get there anytime soon. And of course, make sure you turn on notifications if you talk anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. For now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom, you guys have been awesome, and I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves games. and wash them hands. Let's go. Uh, hurts the games and this how we do. Now it's time we team up. Team up. Check them online. You might catch them playing FIFA. Hey, yeah, you know we keep it live. Make sure to give a like and subscribe. Gamer channel, what's the best one? Keep it hella dope, hella fresh, huh? Yeah, hurts the, hurts the games. Tune in. Even told my grandma, my sister, and my best friend. You might want to check them. If you want to be entertained, you already know the name. Check us out, hurts the games. Hey, whoop. Make sure to give a like and subscribe.